Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the Ornaments and Crime uh, new sequencer, which was just released a couple of days ago by MXMX. It's a fantastic sequencer. It blows away my SQ1 um, because it is actually a two channel 16 by 4 sequencer. So you could actually sequence up to 64 steps uh, times two because you've got two channels. Um, the channels are fantastic because it allows you to go ahead and use two voices. So I have one voice going to my Happy Nerding VCO, which is fantastic. And I have the second voice going to my uh, MS-20 Korg, which is also fantastic. Uh, the way this is being clocked is I'm using my Dixie 2 uh, LFO Square Wave. Without a clock, um, it's not going to go ahead and play, so make sure you do have a clock attached to it. It could either be an LFO or it could be a standard clock. Um, whatever it's going to go ahead and give it a pulse so that it's going to go ahead and start to play um, my a channel is going to my hmvco my b channel is going to my um, ms20 through the english tier volts octave to hertz volts converter and then i have the trigger out going to my um, external signal processor and i really like to use the external signal processors processor to do a lot of my triggering because I could get to I get to see the lights and the way you're going to go ahead and set this up it's it's uh it's actually pretty simple it's pretty intuitive um, there's two channels on the first channel what I've done is I've actually well let me quickly go through um, what it has here so you can actually choose your scale so it's got a ton of different scale options I am using semitones and you can actually even edit each one of the, your notes that you want to go ahead and play based off of the second knob I am not going to go ahead and do that because I know which notes I can go ahead and play um, I'm going to go down what I am going to do and what you guys are probably interested in is how to sequence and choose your steps so you're going to go into sequence one and you've got a total of four sequences that you could actually go ahead and choose from. I'm only using one sequence for one 16 channel sequence for um, my first part, which is the, I'll play it right now, which is this part right here, which is just the Stranger Things uh, notes going up and down. And I keep doing that. So what you're going to go ahead and how to edit this is when you go into the sequence window, each one of these is a step and you could see it playing because of the little dot on the bottom. So you can go ahead and modify each one of these, which is great about this is you're, you might be asking, well, I thought it was 16 steps. It actually is. You can actually change the, how many steps is in each one of your sequences by going to the far right and then using the right knob to go ahead and switch from one to uh, 16. I have it right now at 8 because that's what I need for my sequence. And each one of these, for so if you guys want to know what the number values are for Stranger Things because the Ornaments and Crime does not give you the notes, it does give you the number values, which is fine. I use 128 for the first note, 384 for the second note, 768 for the third note, 1280 for the fourth note, and 1408 for the fifth note, and then it just goes back down. It's a total of eight steps. So once that's set up, oh, another cool feature, well, I'll, I'll show you that in the next, on in channel two. Now in play mode, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on uh, the line. The line means it's only gonna go ahead and play the first sequence so that it's not gonna double up on the sequence because I'm just looping eight notes. I only wanted to play one sequence. I'm gonna go to channel two. Channel two was, um, it's going to seem like it was more hard, difficult because channel 2 is actually playing 8 sequences, uh, not sorry, 4 sequences with 8 steps each. And But it's actually really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do that. Because when you go into the edit window, you're going to see I'm only playing one note. You can mute any one of these notes that you've programmed and what it's going to do is it's going to give you spaces. So that's why, let me go ahead and play the bass line real quick. Oh, I turned up the volume. 
so it's actually playing only one note at a time for every eight steps. So you're going to see it circle back around, then it's going to go to the second sequence, the third sequence, and the fourth sequence. And what's really cool about the ornaments and crime sequences is you can easily, you can quickly go to the first, second, and third sequences and edit them by pressing the up and down buttons. So it makes it really easy to go ahead and edit these. And it's really easy to mute these because you use the left knob, go to the note you want to mute, and you just press on it until it's black, it's not solid. And that by, by doing that, I now have four notes playing within four sequences. I hope that's going to go ahead and help you guys out. It was, it's a great sequencer. Uh, the graphic on here is amazing. It looks like it's a bird's eye view. And as the note goes higher up in frequency, the larger that square becomes. And it's an amazing touch to an amazing product. I wanted to thank MXMXMX for this amazing freeware that you've shared with all of us.